grapes is like that color right there. That, that's blueberry. Really At least on this particular one, this is a golden type of wild, wild. I think it's a musk diamond. This kind of depends on where they were when it rained. Because they were small little things. So they were already starting to grow. So small batch and that's about all the time I really have to make grapes. But there are some pretty good ones. Okay. First we take off our uh, cap and we make sure to just barely break the skin, drop it in. That's what you want to do to put your grapes in there. We're gonna do that with all our grapes. Just kind of break the skin, put it in there. You don't have to wash them or rinse them, you just need to crack it a little. Ooh, that one went all over the place. And that's probably part of the reason why I'm doing this in the sink. Doesn't matter. There we go. Now, 
I'll show you when I get all the all the grapes in there. And I'll show you that how much sugar we put in that. It's kind of a small container, I know. I'm used to doing like a five gallon glass thing with my dad. But I figured I'm not gonna just let this growing season go without showing you guys how to make a little bit of wine. Now, I'm not going to give you an exact recipe. That's kind of a trial and error thing. But what I am going to show you is the basic steps. You know, gathering the grapes, putting it in the bottle, you know, making sure it's cracked, uh, and adding the sugar and the water. That's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, that's about half of the grapes that I picked already. And I'm going to still add some more. Okay, that's about how much I picked up and put it in my pocket. We'll try. We'll put it in there, uh, and we'll see how much we have after I'm done. All right, that's all the grapes we got this time around, and we'll see how much that makes. Probably going to be a really sweet wine. Uh, now, there's two methods when it comes to capping this thing. I'll, I'll try to show you one of them because you don't want it to just sit completely shut it could explode and you don't want it to get bad stuff in there so you gotta put something on the top of the bottle I'll show you one of them all right all right I went and got some sugar and a funnel it's about one and a half cup of sugar that I got here Water. That's probably too much. That's good enough. All right, just stick our lid back on. Give it a good shake. sugar dissolves quicker with warm water than cold water, but I, I'm just trying to get this done. <laughs> yeah, I think it's dissolved. Now, talking about capping. Like I said, you want it to vent, so we're going to go ahead and pull out a tool and poke a hole in it. Just cut a slit there. And that should do. I'm going to use my trusty multi-tool to do that. Yeah, maybe two or three punches. There we go. And that should be plenty of air holes to vent out and not let any of the bad things in. And they're small, as you can tell. Very small. That's good enough. All right, that's all the time we have for making wine. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, you know. <laughs>